Hello, this is Bakuli743, and I thought I'd make a video on how to make MSI Afterburner's overlay work in Just Cause 3. So, in Just Cause 3, there, uh, it actually uses NVIDIA's Gameworks um, suite, or whatever you call it, and it only uses it for one thing, it's a water tessellation. And so, if I show you in the game directory, I have it on my SSD here. Just Cause 3. Um, there's a DLL file called gfsdk dot underscore waterworks. Um, that's for the tessellation for water. Um, other games like Batman Arkham Knight, Call of Duty Ghost, there's a few other that uses uh this. How um Nvidia does this is it actually renders it in DirectX 10 from what I know, and but the game is in DirectX 11. So what happens is. MSI Afterburner is trying to hook the DX10 uh, instead of DirectX 11, so it just fails and it doesn't show up while you're playing the game. So, to get it to work, you just have to disable it, which is very easily. So, what you have to do is go into where you installed MSI Afterburner. So, it's usually the C drive and then 86. You'll see MSI Afterburner. Wait. Here, but you actually have to go to Rivertuna Statistics Server. And what you do is it's you have to add a config file within profile templates. The easiest way to do this is actually to, to just open up Rivertuna uh, Statistics Server uh, plus plus on this and find the exe or the executable for um, just cause three, add it. And it will automatically add a config file in profiles. So you just go to profiles and it's right there. And if you open it, it's all this stuff right here. Um, you're going to delete that actually. What you do just do is copy and pick copy and then paste it in here. And when you paste it in here, you want to delete everything and add this line of code. Um, I actually made a post on Google 3D. Because I had an issue with Call of Duty Ghost and I and Arkham Knight, and I actually uh, he replied back uh, the creator of River Tuna and MSI Afterburner, and to show how to fix it. So all you do is add this line of code: this window direct 3D10 enable zero. So I'll leave this link and this code in the description. But basically, all you have to do is add that Control S or File Save. It's already a config file, so you don't have to worry about making sure it's that. That's why I say to add it through here because you could just manually make a text document and save it as config but some people don't save it correctly and it's still can, um, still a text file which will not work it has to be a config file. But yep, once you do that just exit out all of this. I'll launch just cause three here and it will work. Uh, just note that um, how MS, uh, MSI Afterburner works is it delays the hooking the, so it doesn't conflict with uh, Steam and Origin overlays. So just give it a second. And there you go, it pops up. So it's working perfectly fine. And that's how you get to work in Just Cause 3. Um, not sure on AMD users if this even matters on AMD users. I don't know if that tessellation setting is enabled for each uh, AMD users. Uh, either way, this will work for both AMD and NVIDIA. But yep, if you have any questions, just leave a comment. Um, I'll try to reply back to them. Um, pretty sure by default, MSI Afterburner has default profiles for Arkham Knight as well as Ghosts. And I, oh, I believe there was an indie game called Daylight that used. Uh, it was actually that was a DirectX 12 game. No, was it 12? Yeah, it was one of the. No, it wasn't. Was it DirectX 12? It was first game to use Unreal Engine 4, and it also had GameWorks uh, in it as well. So, but yeah, if you have any questions, just leave a comment. Alright, thanks.